Uh, Prime Minister Modi has uh, not coined a political acronym for a while now. Uh, instead, his style is becoming more uh, alliterative. Uh, there is a play on M uh, with the battle between a Mazboot, that's a, you know, a strong, action-oriented, that's his own, versus Majboor, uh, that's a weak, constrained, Congress-led uh, uh, government. But now there is a third but unspoken M, and that's Magroor, uh, which means arrogant, condescending. Now that's on uh, display every evening on uh, Modi's hand-picked TV channels where news anchors and BJP spokesmen compete with each other to shout, scream, smear and sneer. You see, uh, two guys can play that alliteration game. موڈی <laughs> There's something happening with my M's uh, today. But you know what? Suddenly, uh, the Majboor Congress was on the front foot. It wanted to reclaim its 2009 electoral success, which is just one general election prior uh, to the black swan poll of 2014. Uh, you know, when uh, in 2009, Congress got 20% uh, of the vote and 21 seats, which was the second highest at that time in Uttar Pradesh, 15 of which were won in East UP. Uh, now the Congress party was beginning to look aggressive and uh, uh, sounding confident. After all, uh, uh, opinion polls are already showing a six percentage point swing uh, in Congress's favor uh, in Uttar Pradesh, up to 12%. Uh, with a little more gumption, uh, Priyanka Gandhi could get that extra eight uh, points required to hit the 2009 threshold. So now, uh, here's another cheeky thought. What if uh, Priyanka Gandhi were to open her first rally speech in Lucknow with How's the Josh? I said, how's the Josh? You know how uh, she could steal uh, Modi's uh, Uri, which is the film, Uri-inspired punchline. Now imagine if thousands of young voices were to respond, Hi ma'am, hi ma'am. <laughs> Wouldn't uh, Congress then be on Mazboot ground? Uh, which is uh, by dispelling BJP's, you know, showpiece nationalism. Let's now look to the Majboor BJP. Sumitra Mahajan, uh, the Speaker of the Lok Sabha, became the epitome of uh, BJP's panic. By virtue of her office, she is supposed to be non-partisan. Like Caesar's wife, she has to be seen uh, to be neutral. Therefore, uh, she should not have. Actually, she cannot indulge in open uh, and blatant politics. Rahul Ji de ek prakar se ye accept kiya ke rajniti karda mere akele ke bas ki baat nahi hai ye unki samajh mein aa gaya ye bhi mere liye bahut badi baat ki ye samajh aa gayi unme ki main nahi kar sakta hu aur isliye unhone Priyanka ji ko madad ke liye liya Mahajan's was an astonishing political indiscretion uh, and as perform Yogi Adityanath jumped in with the KO punch saying Rahul plus Priyanka is equal to zero plus zero. देखिए zero plus zero हमेशा zero ही होता है. I think he forgot his elementary lesson in Vedic mathematics since zero is claimed to be India's ingenious contribution to the sciences. What's more, uh, he mistakenly used the plus sign. Actually. Priyanka Gandhi has come in to divide the BJP's strength. Now, you know what happens when you divide with zero, right, Yogi Ji? The answer is infinity. That is, it is inestimable uh, strength. So, trapped in confusion, consternation and chaos. Now, that's one more alliteration. Uh, BJP spokesmen amped up their vitriol, trying to pass off jittery abuse as counter aggression uh, and of course quickly on cue their hand picked tv channels and anchors joined in the chorus 
राहुल स्ट्रक बाई थ्री पोल क्या वादरा एंगल से पड़ेगा कोई प्रभाव क्या राहुल गांधी समझ गए हैं कि अकेले दम पर पॉलिटिक्स उनसे ना हो पाएगा इन एक्नोलेजमेंट ऑफ राहुल गांधी फेलियर कैन प्रियंका गांधी मैनेज टू डिसनाइज यूपी दैट्स द बिग क्वेश्चन क्या कांग्रेस नेताओं का भरोसा राहुल गांधी ऐसी उठ रहा है facts did not matter journalistic ethics did not matter there was no attempt to analyze this politically significant uh, event rahul gandhi had just delivered a crushing 3-0 blow uh, to prime minister modi in the hindi heartland yet uh, he was repeatedly called a loser i mean every opinion poll is showing a near double digit swing in favor of the congress but yet the party is supposed to be desperate uh, to save itself Even after 5 years of Modi rule not a single FIR has been filed against Priyanka Gandhi's husband yet he was called corrupt I would just warn the rulers to be aware of the perils of history uh, the Janata government's Shah Commission resurrected Indira Gandhi uh, in 1980 the Vajpayee government's India shining campaign rejuvenated Sonia Gandhi's Congress in 2004 now the Modi government's abusive television henchman will bring rahul gandhi's congress uh, roaring back to life mark my words here dear prime minister modi the least you can do is choose intelligent propagandists